how to shop for kojic acid. All right, number one. Gloria, please take it away. If you buy a kojic acid product, you open it. You're like, okay, this is fine and stuff. You put it back on your shelf, forget about it. And you're like, all right, you know what? I'm going to commit. I'm going to be, I'm going to be very consistent with it. I'm going to finish up my kojic acid serum. And then you pump it out. You're like, huh. This doesn't look the same color. It looks a little bit on the black side. <laughs> yes, black. Kojic acid is unstable. It's not your imagination. So it's one of those products that you should store in a dark, cool place and use up as soon as you open it. And keep in mind that, I mean, every Kojic acid um, product's default color is a little different. Mm. But if it comes out already quite dark, that is a solid sign that it is poorly formulated and you should not buy from that brand again. <laughs> yeah, all good actives something funky about that <laughs> all right so knowing that um we do want to remind you that this is again one of those actives that please shop for the isolated compound don't mm. actually shop for those general extracts that Gloria loves this they always say rich in yeah don't buy those yeah um so no kojic acid rich stuff yeah. um look for the actual kojic acid in the inky and then finally in terms of where to use in your routine um don't <laughs> They typically come in water-based serum form, so we'll use it as pretty much a first step after cleansing. Mm -hmm. uh, if you use toners or other hydrating products, those can go before kojic acid, but mm -hmm. don't use it after your cream. Yeah, and we will say most of the clinicals out there are using this twice a day. Mm -hmm. um, so keep that in mind. And also for percentages, we'd like you to try to aim for at least 1%. And this can get pretty hard because a lot of hyperpigmentation serums may add it, but it's not clear how much you're getting. And we will say a lot of them look like more just like a dash or a sprinkle than an actual robust amount. Yeah, but side note, um, a 1% serum is like the goal here. For a while there, kojic acid soap is also mm. really popular. Again, most of the studies we've seen is leave on, use twice a mm. day. Using it in soap form, it may or may not supplement your routine or like, you know, for your body pigmentation mm. uh, as a helper. But we would say that's not the most, um, the best way to get that 1% topical benefit that yeah. we're targeting. That's a good point. All right, let's walk through some products. So um, Hyper Skin, their uh, brightening dark spot vitamin C serum, that one we know for a fact has 1% kojic acid. So that's one area you can look at. Um, we actually do want to focus on SkinCeuticals uh, Discoloration Defense Dark Spot Serum. This one is great um, because they actually did a clinical and shared it in a publication. Classic, actually, I want to say this is actually a classic example of how kojic acid is used. It's used in combination um, with other actives. So in this serum, they're actually also including 3% tranexamic acid, which we also like. Um, they use 5% niacinamide and 5% hepes, which is generally an exfoliator. Think of it like that. What we really like is they um, shared their clinical where they tested on 55 subjects. These subjects have hyperpigmentation, PIH, and melasma, mm -hmm. and they had these subjects use their discoloration defense serum for 12 weeks, twice a day. And we'll show their results here. They actually took some imaging, and this is the kind of imaging that we really like. It's standardized. The lighting is generally the same. Um, and you can see some improvement after 12 weeks. And they did find significant improvement in uh, PIH, uh, hyperpigmentation, melasma, skin texture, and skin tone. So I thought that was a really great share and does, I generally feel like, justify a higher price tag. Yeah, and I think for pigmentation, especially... I think when so many products come in blends, mm -hmm. this is like a much clearer picture in terms of what you can expect. So mm -hmm. yeah, definitely appreciate the clinical. 